Hi, this is Beth Allen, um, once again blogging about my training progress for the New York Marathon this fall as a part of the Women's Sports Foundation team. I um, had a great week last week training. I explained to you in my first blog that I have three intense days of training that are pretty targeted, geared for a specific purpose, and then the other days I run are mostly just extra miles I'm tacking on um, to get my mileage up for the week easy runs with uh, five miles here, four miles, six miles. Um, but my three targeted days are what I want to talk about today. Last week I had a midweek um, middle run about nine miles on Tuesday and I did that training run really early. I got up at like 4.30 and hit the road about five trying to get it in before I had to be at work and it was not successful. It was definitely a setback run because I did not even come close to making my marathon pace on that run. Um, I think I was tired. It was early. Uh, I just wasn't having it. What My body was not having it and I was not feeling it. So um, after Tuesday last week I was a little discouraged. I didn't even come close to making my mark that day. Um, took off Wednesday and then came back Thursday to do my other day of speed work, my Yasso 800s and I did hit my marks. I did five yesos and my marks were all there. I hit them pretty good. It was a strong, strong run. I um, felt good about it so that was a successful training run. So my point is is that you can have maybe a discouraging run one day and then turn around in another day and make your marks and everything's great and you feel good on top of the world again. You can feel way down and then way up um, and every runner goes through it where you'll have a great day, a great run, a great race, and then you might have a terrible run, a terrible race, and um, it, you just never know. It's just the luck of the draw on that day and what your body will let you do. Um, at the end of the week, I had a long run of 18 miles this week. It's a great run. It was easy pace. Um, I just ran to get the miles in, and I, um, it was in the middle of the day. It was hot. It's still hot here, but the humidity level has dropped. So um, it's making training a little easier in the last few days. Um, like I said, I ran 18 middle of the day. It was still hot. I had to take some water breaks, um, obviously, drink water. Um, but normally I won't stop when I'm running. I'll just hold the water and drink as I run. But this that day it was pretty hot, so I stopped maybe two water breaks for about two minutes apiece and actually just drank the whole bottle of water and try to revive myself. When it's that hot, that's sometimes what it takes for me to get hydrated and cooled off and back on the road. Um, and then uh, the other days I just ran easy runs. Um, the day after my long run, Saturday I woke up with some kind of sinus cold congestion. So I'm battling that right now. It's Monday, um, August 29th and I um, am trying to decide whether or not to run today. There's kind of a fine line of do I run when I'm sick or feeling bad or do I just push through the pain and go on and run? It, it's, you know, to each his own. It's kind of what you feel like. I can't decide. I'm supposed to do my training run here in the next five minutes and I still don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to go out or if I'm going to sit this one out today. Um, most likely I'll go out there and hit the road. But I will get back with you next week. This week of my training, I'm scaling back a little bit. Not as intense runs. I'm still keeping my weekly mileage up, but my long run will scale back this week to maybe 13 or 14 miles. I'm going to the beach for Labor Day, so I'm going to try to take it easy. And then when I get back, hit it hard again next week. So I look forward to speaking with you next week, and we'll give you an update as to how my week was this week late at a later date when I speak with you next week. All right, thanks so much, and have a great Labor Day weekend. Bye-bye.